Like and subscribe right now, or this spider will crawl on your face while you're sleeping. Giant waves that caught humans off guard. Modern news coverage has made the world aware of the terrible force that is the tidal wave, but few know that the deadliest tsunamis occurred during ancient times. The biggest and oldest tsunami in the history were culture killers. They breached walls meant to keep the sea out and wiped away everything from villages to entire landmasses. However, sometimes the sea waves come in on invaders and prove to be divine intervention for saving people. While we have seen the devastation caused by the sea in the recent decades thanks to the internet, can you imagine a wave so big that it wipes out a whole city? Well, sure, the earthquake responsible for the Japanese tsunami in 2011 was in no way a small disaster and resulted in the loss of 18,000 lives and billions of dollars in infrastructure damages. But it was by no means the worst event involving an earthquake in the seas. Sometimes you visit the sea, but other times the sea visits you. Today, we bring you some of the most terrifying moments throughout the human history that brought the seas to the doorsteps of people living even miles inland. Number 11. The 2004 Tsunami Let's start off with an event most of us would be familiar with or even witnessed, as it happened in the not-so-distant past. The December 26, 2004 Indian Ocean Tsunami was caused by an earthquake that is thought to have had the energy of 23,000 Hiroshima-type atomic bombs. The epicenter of the 9.0 magnitude quake was located in the Indian Ocean near the west coast of Sumatra. The violent movement of the Earth's tectonic plates displaced an enormous amount of water, sending powerful shock waves in every direction. Within hours of the earthquake, killer waves radiating from the epicenter slammed into the coastline of 11 countries, damaging countries from East Africa all the way to Thailand. A quarter million people across the globe lost their life, while 1.7 million people were left homeless and the total economic cost was calculated just north of $10 billion. It is said to be one of the most ruthless waves in recorded history, and the sheer scale of destruction was just mind-boggling. Before we move on, I've got a little challenge for you that will take just five seconds to complete. So here's the deal. You just leave a like on this video, smash that subscribe button, and hit the notification bell and you get 25 years of amazing luck. Try it. It really works. Number 10. The Culture-Killing Tsunamis In the 15th century, the Maori boasted top canoe makers, artists, and fishing gear craftsmen. Then the culture went into a mysterious decline. Double-hulled ships became single-hulled boats. Their arts and fishing tools weren't up to standard either. Additionally, some tribes can trace their storytelling and genealogy to the 15th century and no earlier. Archaeologist Bruce McFadgen blames a tidal wave for this cultural erasure. He managed to find solid archaeological evidence to back up Maori tales describing a terrible flood that swept away entire fleets and communities. He and other scientists have found evidence of the big tsunami from Northland and Bay of Plenty to Nelson. Near Wellington, there are tsunami-generated marine gravel and rocks, pumice, seashells, driftwood and debris in Capiti Island, in Palliser Bay and in Derville Island. More evidence comes from eroded riverbanks, seaside cuttings, from dug holes, drilled cores, and from buried Maori settlements. The event was tragic. An eight-story monster tsunami smashed in New Zealand and raised the shores upon which the majority of Maori populations lived. When the sea withdrew, knowledge and skills went with the dead, but the worst was yet to come. As the sea went back to the shores, the once flourishing towns and villages had so much residual salt that the survivors could not harvest on it anymore, which resulted in even more loss of life due to starvation. Number 9. The New York Hit Hey there, want to know how New York came into existence? Well, it's story time and we have all the details for it right here. In 300 BC, something happened to the area that would later become New York City. Deposits of shells, woods, and marine fossils found all over Long Island and New Jersey point to an unusually rare and violent Atlantic Ocean tsunami. Some experts pin these odd collections on a particularly big storm. But only tsunamis would have possessed the power, speed, and currents necessary to distribute massive amounts of materials over such a large area. After the passing of two millennia, it's hard to say what caused the explosive sweep. But the presence of nanodiamonds, created during extreme heat and pressure, suggests an asteroid striking the ocean. An underwater landslide caused by the impact or by an earthquake could also have spawned the splash. This tsunami wasn't a mammoth wave at only 15 feet high. However, today it would flood the Long Island Expressway and Wall Street. Number 8. 
the oldest tsunami. During an effort to compile a database of Australia's past tsunamis, researchers gleaned some of the fascinating facts. First, they found that the continent wasn't at all immune to this destructive force of nature, as a hefty crop of 145 events proved. That number was three times the amount that had been expected. From this crowd, they picked out the world's most ancient tidal swell. There is no mystery about what birthed the oldest known tsunami. It was determined that an asteroid smashed into the Pilbara district of Western Australia 3.47 billion years ago. It would appear that Australia's track record with space-sponsored tsunamis isn't a one-hit wonder either. The same thing happened again 2.5 million years ago. Let's just hope we don't have such an event unfolding in 2020. Number 7. The Drowning of Lebanon Lebanon is in for a cruel awakening. If earthquake experts are to be believed, a newly documented fault in the Mediterranean seas shows activity roughly every 1,500 years, and last time it did so, Lebanon's coastal cities saw death on a mass scale. In AD 551, the 100-kilometer fault released a devastating shudder. The seafloor dropped 1.5 to 3 meters, displacing enough water to unleash a tsunami toward what is now Lebanon. History records the hell that followed. Between Tyre and Tripoli, the waves overcame every city. Tripoli and Beirut were said to have been completely razed, with a death toll in Beirut alone of over 30,000. The repetitive nature of the fault, with at least four ancient tsunamis under its belt, is worrying. Presently, more than 5 million people reside along Lebanon's coastline, and the next quake is long overdue. Number 6. The Triple Trouble what unfolded a couple hundred years ago in Portugal is not only scary, but even baffles the mind as to how it all even happened. On November 1st, 1755, the citizens of Lisbon, Portugal were attending morning mass in preparation for All Saints Day. It was supposed to be a peaceful sunny day at one of the most important and richest ports in Europe. However, nobody saw what came next. Over the space of 10 minutes, three massive earthquakes rocked the city. Many were crushed when churches and buildings collapsed. Survivors fled to the harbor and found that the sea was missing. When it returned, a 45-foot wave ripped away the port and the thousands sheltering there. Those who crawled away from the destruction suffered a five-day firestorm. Afterward, Lisbon was nothing but rubble, and nearly 60,000 had perished. King Joseph created the first crisis management in history, bringing aid to the citizens and helping to rebuild the city. The disaster was also the first time that such a catastrophe was seen as an act of nature rather than the wrath of God. Number 5. The Santiago Boulders On the island of Santiago in Cape Verde, unusual boulders had led researchers to a historic tsunami. Sitting on a bed of volcanic material, the 770-ton rock matches the limestone circling the shore. The only way beach boulders that side could have been transported 700 feet above sea level would have been during a particularly powerful surge of water. The event may dispel previous doubts on whether volcanoes can cause tsunamis during a partial collapse. Santiago is in the vicinity of Fogo, which is still active and is one of Earth's most imposing volcanoes. A computer simulation calculated that 73,000 years ago, an enormous rock slide on Fogo started the lethal ripple. It continued for miles and punched Santiago with a monster tsunami of 600 feet high, the biggest known tidal wave in history. In comparison, the horrific 2004 tsunami that bulldozed Indian Ocean coastlines had baby waves, about 100 feet in height. Number 4. Alexandria In AD 365, an earthquake off the coast of Greece caused the sea to withdraw from the harbor of Alexandria, Egypt. Not quite grasping this major warning sign, lesser characters rushed forward to rob stranded ships. When the tidal wave inevitably made its appearance, it killed the looters and breached the city's walls, claiming another 5,000 lives. 50,000 residences were destroyed, some by ships being hurled down on them. The carnage outside Alexandria was even worse. Farming communities lost 40,000 people, and in some places, entire villages were erased. The salt water poisoned the farmland for years, making planting useless. The velocity of the tsunami was so great that it physically altered the shape of the shoreline. The tragedy is still commemorated every year in Alexandria. Number 3. Atlet Yam Atlet Yam was a Neolithic fishing community. When its remains were found in what is now Israel, evidence pointed toward a sudden abandonment by the villagers. For almost two decades, nobody was really sure why. For the first time, researchers are considering the possibility that it might have been a tsunami evacuation. The smoking gun is the still rumbling Mount Etna in Sicily. 
The volcano experienced a landslide around 8,000 years ago, dumping enough material into the ocean to bury Manhattan up to the Empire State Building. The results was a 10-story tsunami. It powered across the Mediterranean and devastated the seaboards of three continents. The villagers of Atlet Yam were one group of people that didn't stand still when they saw the sea recede. The residents fled in haste, leaving valuable commodities like prepared fish behind. Number 2. The Lost Landmass Doggerland once connected Britain to mainland Europe. During Mesolithic times, Doggerland was a paradise for both wildlife and humans, but it was slowly being taken away by the sea. Over a period of a thousand years, the ocean systematically ate more and more up, until the once bountiful environment turned into a whale-sized swamp. Around 8,000 years ago, the last of the tribes left the landmass, which has since disappeared under the sea. During that time, a crushing underwater landslide near Norway spawned a tidal wave that flooded the entire low-lying island. All Mesolithic relics that have been salvaged from the North Sea zone date to before the ancient disaster, supporting the belief that the 16-foot tsunami destroyed what human civilization was left on Dargaland. Number 1. The Wave of Poseidon a closer look at an ancient tale penned by Greek historian Herodotus suggests that a story of divine intervention is in fact a real-life account of a tidal wave. In 479 BC, a small Greek town faced invasion by the Persian army. Herodotus perfectly described how the attackers surged forward onto the exposed seabed when the water retreated, only to be drowned by giant waves and high tide. The Greeks believed Poseidon, their sea god, sent the savior wave. The town, Neopotidia, still exists. Local drilling revealed evidence of a tsunami. Ocean sediment on the land contained shells roughly dating back to the time of the invasion. Scientists also found the area to be ideal for kicking up tsunamis. It's prone to both earthquakes and landslides, and the seafloor nearby dips into a massive tube-shaped hollow. Together, they have the capacity to create tidal waves up to 20 feet high.